Hey everybody, welcome back into North Dakota today. Well, you might recognize one of our next guests from social media, but today that Midwestern mom isn't talking about funky salad, she's talking about beans. So Amber Essenson and Jed Brazer from North Harvest Bean Growers are here to share a little bit more about the organization. Hey guys. Hi, good, good morning. morning. Yes, we are so happy to have you both on the couch. Um, tell me a little bit more about North Harvest. I'll let you take that one. <laughs> oh, <sure. laughs> Uh, North Harvest Bean Growers Association is uh, the collective uh, bean growers of North Dakota and Minnesota, which is the U.S.'s largest population of bean growers, uh, and we're trying to get the word out, so we thought we'd draft in some local talent, and yeah. we were fortunate enough to uh, line up with Amber, and she's helping us get the word out. Yeah, so tell me a little bit more about how you got involved. Um, through most of the, the, the things that happened with my social media, they reached out to me over mm -hmm. Instagram, um, and everything just kind of fell in that way. Um, it's been one of my favorite gigs this year. Yeah. It has been so fun. Um, I think we've done four or five shootings. I think we're I think, at five. We got yeah, a few we're more at five, go. like in the fields, on mm -hmm. the farms, like meeting people, yeah. um, learning more about beans, learning more about farming, um, which um, my mom was a dairy farmer. And so cool. she's really excited that I'm getting out there yes. finally because she, <laughs> she tells me I'm a city kid. I'm like, well, you raised me, mom. <laughs> You gotta give it back to the moms yeah. once in a while, right? Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay, I love that. So why are you, you know, passionate about this? I mean, you represent the Midwest and kind of our lifestyle and how does that really tie into this? Um, I really think it just kind of ties into giving, getting more familiar with what mm -hmm. we grow in the Midwest. 60% of the beans um, that are eaten in the United States are grown in Minnesota and North Dakota, yeah. which is massive and it's huge. And you know, you kind of tend to think of corn and wheat in mm -hmm. this area of the world, but beans are really important. And it's one of the few, if the only crops in the United States where you can take it directly from the field to the table. Yeah. So, um, you know, very little processing is needed. So we, we they call it edible beans in, yes. in the fields. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, it's, I learn something new every time I go out. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Okay, tell me a little bit more about the seed to stove top projects. Sure, uh, one of the things that uh, we've found out is folks are kind of losing touch with where food comes from. Mm -hmm. So uh, we kind of brainstormed a way to find a way to share that story from where do the, from the very inception of where do the seeds come from to how do they get to the farmers, to what do the farmers do with it, to what happens in the field, to what happens once they're ready to be harvested, once they are harvested, where do they go, where do they go from the processors to the dealers, from the dealers to uh, the packagers, to the store shelves, to our stoves at home. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of working on a series that uh, explains all of that. We have uh, about three stops left to go, but we've got all the farm side of things. Uh, and it's coming together really nicely. We have a little precursor that's up on our YouTube channel right now, uh, which Amber is a part of, along with uh, Chelsea Dittinger from A Legume Day, who's uh, one of our uh, other folks who works with us a lot. So mm -hmm. we're very excited about it. I love that, the seed to stove top process. I remember <laughs> my dad is a farmer and every time we go to like Qdoba or Chipotle, he's like, I grew this bean, I recognize this one. <laughs> you know, people don't realize that so much of the product is grown right here in our communities, right? Absolutely. It is, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. So what else can we expect from you guys? Um, as far as filming or, yeah, yeah um, we have a couple more things to, to film, but um, we're gonna mostly post it on um, North Harvest's YouTube. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and I'll be cross promoting it on my channels as well. And um, if you look out on my socials and North Harvest Bean Growers Association socials, um, I post silly you know, photos of yes. us in the fields with the farmers um, and bean dealers. Uh, that was a new concept <laughs> for me. Sure. You can go to the dealer yeah. <laughs> with your beans. Um, um, we met at NDSU with mm -hmm. a, a bean breeder as well, which oh, was wow. really fascinating. The science behind um, making our crops as bountiful as they are was, was a really fun thing to, to learn. So um, we're just kind of finishing up the series now and, and getting those beans to our table. <laughs> On top of that, we have uh, we have our recipe videos that are coming. We got a whole bunch more that we are just scheduling filming now. Should start before the end of the month. Then, of course, in January we have our big annual conference, Bean Day 2025. So Ooh, we're okay. looking forward to that. But that uh, that's probably going to cap us off for the year. Yes. Okay. Well, this is such a fun partnership. It's been so fun to have you guys on and we'll be checking in with you guys, I think twice a month from now on. So we're excited about that as well. Thank you for having us. Yeah, so we're looking forward to it. Okay, everybody stick around because coming up on today's show, Ashton and I will be getting our hands dirty carving pumpkins after the break. <laughs>